Mr. Romer. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome, gentlemen. Uh, delighted to have a distinguished panel here this morning. Uh, I would just like to, for 30 seconds, uh, talk about Iraq, although we're not supposed to talk about Iraq. It was my very first vote in 1991 on whether or not to go to war. And I am open to the administration's arguments, to the rationale, uh, to a forward engagement, as we called it, in the Democratic uh, Party's uh, uh, platform. But I really would hope that people of your caliber and stature, as well as your bosses, would be up here talking to the full committee and to the House of Representatives, making the argument that I know you're capable of making and explaining why we need to do it so that we can communicate that to our constituents as well, too. Uh, just as an aside, I remember on that first vote, we had the administration, the first Bush administration, coming up scores of times to help inform and educate and work with members of Congress on which what was an exceedingly important vote at that time. And uh, I, I hope that we can re-engage in that uh, with this administration. That is not a criticism. Uh, that is a hopeful suggestion on a vote that may be pending next week. Mr. Secretary, uh, uh, I want to say to you, I didn't know you were going to quote uh, Wolstetter's book. I happened to be looking at it. Let me read you one more part of what Schelling's forward was. And either you did great work on this or your staff, maybe Rich Haver is uh, reading this. It would be reassuring to believe that Pearl Harbor was just a colossal and extraordinary blunder. In, flack, in fact, blunder is too specific. It was just a dramatic failure of a remarkably well-informed government to call the next enemy move in a Cold War crisis. To call the next enemy move. Finally, he says, Wolstetter's book is, quote, a great national, a study of a great national failure to anticipate. Osama bin Laden in a fatwa says he's at war with us. George Tenet says we're at war with him, yet we can't anticipate, even with all these clues, the next move. I think mistakes were made. I, like Secretary Rumsfeld yesterday, think it's too late when the smoking gun's there. You've got to find the person pointing the gun, loading the bullets, getting ready to pull the trigger. In intelligence, that's what it's supposed to do. So I hope that we can, as the families who uh, were here testifying so, uh, so emotionally and so passionately yesterday, we can prevent the next one. But we can also move forward in a paradigm shift to see what we need to do in the Defense Department to forward engage or to support special ops that can go after terrorist groups that aren't sponsored by nation states but may be in different countries in the world and work with Congress in a bipartisan way to see if that's a good policy to implement. We have a panel coming after you, Mr. Secretary. I, I think this is a tough question, and I hope it's fair. They may say, we briefed this administration on these priorities. We said that they'd spend more time on the war on terrorism than any other war or any other battle. Did you have those kinds of transition briefings that you were part of? And were there specific requests by George Tenet at CIA to move resources and money in the Defense Department to this tougher, more unconventional war to go after al-Qaeda? Um, we, I, mean, we, I don't remember briefings from, by the time we were nominated and confirmed, the transition was over. Uh, so they weren't transition briefings. We got lots of briefings from the beginning about the al-Qaeda danger, uh, including from important people who had served in both administrations, not only Director Tenet, but Richard Clark at the National Security Council. As we said earlier, there were quite a number of actions that were proposed, quite a few of which were, in fact, implemented. Um, but some of which we recognized really called for looking at the whole problem in a bigger way and recognizing that if you're going to go to war with an entity, it was war. It wasn't just an uh, intelligence activity or just a single military retaliation. 
And I would say, considering um, the challenges of putting all that together, it came together pretty quickly. Um, Did you consider doing it before September 11th? Did you have a plan to go to war in an unconventional way against Al Qaeda before the 11th? We weren't quite there, but we had a conclusion from the principals meeting that we needed to look at major military options. Uh, that was a conclusion that came on September 5th, and as we've said, the presidential decision memo that came after September 11th was not substantially different. Um, but I mean, one could also ask could the question: I If we had the time, is run.